Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign a SSL certificate to a domain. So right now, I have a test domain that I actually bought from Namecheap for uh, 50 cents. And I also uh, it also included a um, SSL certificate uh, for $1.99, so really good deal. But what I want to do now is assign that SSL certificate to a droplet that's currently inside of uh, DigitalOcean. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my product list inside of Namecheap and I'm going to activate my SSL certificate. They have a set of instructions up here that are fairly simple to follow. Um, the server I'm using is Golang, however I am using OpenSSL. So I'll just click the instructions for Apache SSL. And they have the OpenSSL instructions here, which I will be using. The only thing is I did change is the name of my key and my SCR certificate. They recommend that in their instruction within the documentation as well. Okay, so as far as my country code, I'm in the US. My city, California. My location, Oakland. Organization, uh, I'm just going to put NA. Okay, this next part is really important. It's a common name. And for this, what they actually want is the name of your domain that you'll be assigning the SSL certificate to. In this case, it's Slacker Club. Email address. And you want to make sure you fill this out in full or else the certificate will get rejected. Password, I am not going to include one. Company, no, and now LS. And I have my SCR certificate here. Super user do nano. Okay, now I just want to copy the content of my certificate. Make sure you have no spaces beginning or ending of the... Uh... Okay, I'm going to go back to Namecheap. I'm going to paste that into my SCR certificate. And everything works right. Uh, you should see your domain name server here. And then you can click next. Okay, I'll be using... Uh, I'm not using Windows or Java Tomcat. I'm using another server, so I'm just going to click Next. And as far as my verification method, I am going to be using HTTP, and I will show you how to go through that verification method using Golang. Click Next. Okay, this is the admin email that appeared when I filled out my CSR certificate. Click Next. And okay, our next step would be uploading the certificate to the URL highlighted here. Now we'll click Submit. Now I will visit the link, read more in our knowledge base. For HTTP, you're going to want to download the docu document and you're going to assign it uh, to this directory. So it's dot well known forward slash PKI validation. So I'm just going to go to see details, enter method download file and I'm going to save this file in the directory where I am, am holding the code I'm using to build my project. So here's my actual project and I downloaded the file from Namecheap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new handler in order to point the URL to this document. So I'm going to just copy this default handler I have here. I'll type in PKI for my path, I'm going to just paste it here. I'm going to create a new function for PKI. I'm going to add my writer, response writer, and HTTP request. Okay, so I want to serve up the content of this file. So actually, all I'm going to do is just copy this. So instead of serving up the index.html file, I have as my default. I just want to serve up this text file. So let me just copy the name of the file and paste it here. I'm going to change my port to back to port 80. Save. And I'm going to upload this to the my server. So Okay, I have to rebuild my project. 
Now I'm just going to run my web app. Now that that's running, I'm going to go back to Namecheap to see if it was uh, verified. And just to show you what that web page looks like, we'll just go to it real quick. So we see the content of that text file is showing up at that URL that was provided. So it might just take a few minutes. And now the domain name is, uh, the SSL certificate is not active. Now I need to redirect all my traffic going to port 80 to port 443. So what's taking place here is my applications listen to port 80 and then all traffic will be redirected by calling this function here, redirect it to port 443 and then I will give it a code saying that the, uh, that the port has permanently been changed. So I'm going to save this. There we go. So let me clear this out. I need to build my application. Fresh my page. Okay, and it looks like uh, instead of actually redirecting me, it's redirecting me directly to port 443. So that's probably a mistake. Well, it's definitely a mistake on my part. So I'm just going to go back into my uh, file. I'm going to just redirect it to https colon forward slash forward slash www.slhacker dot club and then uh, port 443. The reason why this turned purple is because double tick marks are comments. Linux terminal, we're actually writing Go code, so it should not matter. So I'm going to exit, hit yes. Okay, let's re And now we have a secure website. I hope this helps. Uh, I know it's kind of cumbersome. But uh, it's definitely worth in the long run. And uh, for this, I only use Namecheap. It was a super cheap domain name. And my SL SSL tip certificate, I got a promotion on it for $1.99. But usually they're around um, $8.99. So uh, still a really good deal. And it's definitely worth to take the extra time to go ahead and secure your site. Thank you.